So first and foremost, I just want to say that the Navy SEAL swim, I believe, was one of the most epic events that this area has seen, and that's saying a lot. If you're just waking up across the country, Pete is going to undertake the challenge of swimming in the Hudson River for a good cause. Across the Hudson River with about 30 Navy SEALs. Hey! Hey! But first, they join us live. Fox Twitter, look at them. I'm ready to jump in the water. I'm ready to get wet. I've been training for this for a long time. It's a good event. Good people doing good things. So can't wait to get in and, uh, you know, get to work. I can't wait to see the Statue of Liberty, too. So it's the first time visiting the Statue of Liberty. I get to swim to it. Yeah, looking forward to doing this with the boys. It's for a good cause. So great things to come. Oh man, that was rocking and rolling. Piece of history. 29. statements earlier about what a combined effort this has been. Mike Greco was critical in driving this forward. So is Jason Lager from uh, Commissioner Sutton's office and her office in general. This is a joint effort here to end veteran homelessness in New York City. But inspired by the example of every one of you SEALs standing here today, I know there is no challenge too great. As Mike Schertz says, remember yesterday, live for today, and cherish tomorrow. Let's keep after it, gang. Hold up. God bless. Thank you. Um, if it wasn't for things like this, um, it could easily be me out there on the street. Simply, that it's just that simple. Uh, because I get to focus and I get to have a little bit of a mission. I have great friends and colleagues that support me. Men like these. My partner, Pat Donovan, who I couldn't do any of this without. Not one stitch of this possible. Though nobody will ask, these guys aren't going to ask for help. I'm not going to ask for help, let alone accept help, but we need your help. Thank you all for coming out and supporting us. Um, it's our responsibility to take care of those that may have been left behind and reach out and give them a hand when they need it. So uh, honored to be a part of this event, and thank you all for coming. I grew up in New York City, I grew up in the Bronx, not too far from here. And uh, I got yeah. in a million years, thought that I would swim in the Huss. <laughs> Today, a few Good people did something great. God bless America. Yeah. The whole thing was a masterpiece, and it was Bill's masterpiece, and it was the SEAL's masterpiece, and it was it was incredible for us to just play our small part in it and helping to organize it and, and making sure that the SEALs knew um, their commitment was appreciated and, and really was uh, something that was very important to us. As a part of all this, we partnered with the City of New York uh, because we knew that there was an issue with homelessness in New York City uh, that they were having a tough time tackling. There were 650 homeless veterans remaining on the streets that they were having a tough time getting off the streets. And we are proud to play the role they're playing. We are proud to have been in the front line of the effort to end chronic veterans' homelessness. That was achieved here in this city, thank God.